so the electric field intensity inside the uniformly charged sphere of radius r the charge density rho at the point r equal to less than r from the center of the sphere is they are asking what is the electric field intensity uniformly charged sphere so that's the thing we are going to calculate but they are asking inside the sphere what is uh, that electric field intensity so the electric field intensity inside a uniformly charged sphere here suppose if you are taking this as a sphere it is uniformly charged they are asking what is the elect uh, if this radius is r take this as a the radius of the sphere they are asking what is the electric field intensity inside the, the uniformly charged sphere at the radius or at this radius they are asking so we need to find within this radius uh, how much the electric field uh, intensity we want to find that one for that we are going to use uh, that uh, charge density concept the charge density inside the sphere of radius at uh, or the charge density or uh, you can call the 0 to or the charge density so you can call it rho prime 0 to or the charge density the charge density it's in general it's a rho but the charge density is uh, always uh, constant because it's a uniformly charged sphere the density up to r that prime it is equal to the density of the sphere of radius r so if this charge density are equal then we can we are going to apply the the formula for the charge density in general the charge density we can write the charge density is equal to you got to write charge density that should be equal to the amount of charge by the unit volume this is a charge density so if you are if it is rho prime uh, we are we can write it here rho prime means the amount of charge inside the sphere of radius you can call that is a q prime the amount of charge the whole sphere you can call it's a q so the amount of rho prime represent the charge density up to the radius r so you can call the charge density is equal to the amount of charge up to the sphere of radius or small r it is q prime divided by the volume volume is nothing but the volume of the sphere of radius small r that is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube this charge density is uh, uh, up to the capital r so you can call this is smaller the up to the capital r the total charge distribution is q the volume of the sphere is 4 by 3 pi the capital R cube. Suppose if you want to count the, the charge up to the sphere of R, Q prime is equal to, you can cancel 4 pi 4 pi. It's a small q times capital small R cube will be capital R cube. Or else the charge density, sorry, the net charge up to the sphere of radius small r, it is equal to the charge up to the sphere of radius capital R small r divided by the capital R whole cube so this is the amount of charge we are getting now we can do the problem what is the, the electric field uh, of the sphere of radius small r uh, from the center of the sphere in general we are going to use uh, the Gauss uh, divergence uh, uh, Gauss law the Gauss law states that the integral form integral of delta e dot d v <coughs> that should be equal to the total charge enclosed within the sphere of small radius or that is a q prime divided by epsilon this is a the maxwell first equation in the integral form of that equation so using the Gauss divergence theorem, you can replace this as integral of E dot ds. That should be equal to Q prime already we derived that Q prime is equal to it's a, that 
total charge times the small r divided by capital R whole cube divided by the epsilon will be there. We know the surface area up to the sphere of radius 0 to the small r because we are, here we are using the the first Maxwell equation integral form up to the sphere of radius r 0 to the radius up to small r. So you need to take the integral from, from 0 to r. If the electric field once if it is constant it is take it outside if you are integrating the surface area it will give 4 pi the small r square that should be equal to q pi epsilon r the r cube divided by the capital r cube you can cancel the 1 r square 1 r square here so the electric field that should be equal to what you will get it's a cube by uh, if this 4 pi going to that side it's a going to in denominator 4 pi epsilon naught the small r because r square we, we cancelled only r will be the divided by the capital r cube this should be equal to e equal to we know that uh, the charge uh, uh, density in general that should be equal to you can represent q by here we wrote it the charge density q by v up to sphere of radius if you are a capital r it will be equal to q by 4 pi 3 pi r cube because we are going to represent the electric field in terms of the charge density that's why we are using this expression so if you uh, we have the in our electric field just we are going to take this expression we are having in our uh, electric field the q pi 4 pi r cube we are having so if you are pushing this 3 by 3 to the other side it will give rho by 3 that should be equal to q by 4 pi r cube so this is the expression we are going to use in our electric field uh, definition so this electric field in general the for this q by 4 pi r cube we are going to use rho by 3 the so rho by 3 there is one epsilon naught there is one small r so this is the electric field inside the sphere of radius the small r from above derivation we got the answer rho r divided by 3 epsilon so this would be the the right up front